Oh, happy days. We just received our budwood from Madison Citrus Nursery, cut by yours truly. In our bag is a label, tells us we have frost oari. It gives us the date of bud. We actually put the day we cut the budwood on there, but as long as it's within the same month, USDA considers that to be the same. Um, also, you will have your buds, your budwood, will usually be three sticks. We put a minimum of 15 buds. Sometimes you might get four or five sticks. If I cut it off, I'm not going to throw it on the ground. I'll stick it in the, in the bag. Um, now, if you're getting something that has buds really close together, such as finger limes, uh, you might only have two sticks because there's a lot more buds per stick. And what we do is when we get this, we decide how we're going to, to use our budwood. Are we going to chip bud? Are we going to um, uh, do a hanging shad? Are we going to cleft graft? Are we going to uh, do a, do a um, veneer graft? We have to know what we're going to do with it. And I'm going to do several different grafts here uh, so you can kind of get some idea. Um, I'm going to do a couple other graphs, and then at the end, I'll do it the way we're going to do it here, and we'll give you a little more detail at the end of how we do all of our graphs here. So what I have done is I've already got some uh, budwood wrapped with the parafilm. Uh, we cut it up in about an inch and a half pieces. We wrap it from the top down almost to the bottom, so we've already got these wrapped, so we'll use these eventually. What I'm going to do first is we're just going to do a bud. So we'll take our grafting knife. Um, you can use any grafting knife that, that you have, anything. We just recommend that you have a relatively sharp knife. Um, I like to have something that will actually cut a few hairs or if it'll hang on your thumb um, thumbnail, it's usually, usually pretty sharp. Okay, what I will do is take the, the node where the leaf was there. I put a little cut right above my bud and then I cut under my bud. And that pulls, pulls my bud off. I don't touch the bottom of it because you don't want any oil down there. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to put a little cut right there to catch our, our bud. Then we're gonna come from the bottom and we're going to cut up to that. and remove that and then we're going to insert our bud under and that will hold our bud in place then with a small piece of parafilm we're going to try to wrap it one time that was one cover in the front, and then wrap it one time just to be sure it's secure. And that's adequate right there. Just pinch it down tight. So that is a, a typical bud. Now you can do an inverted T bud, which is just splitting it. For an inverted T, you will split it, pull it down, open the bark up, and on some trees, the bark is not slipping, so this one's a little difficult to do. But you can see your bark peel, peels off right there pretty good. I'll cut a bud the same way as I cut the other one. Sometimes someone will leave the little node where the leaf was held on there to kind of give it a little handle. I pull my bud off, and then... I have to find where I opened it up there, and then it slides back in from the bottom. We don't do a lot of budding here, because with my old hands, it's much more efficient for me to graft. Okay, I push my bud in. I grab my parafilm and do the same thing. I'm going to start right below it, get my parafilm started, pull it around. And then pull it over my bud. One time is plenty across the top of your bud because that's where your bud is going to push out right there. So that is sufficient right there. Okay, one other way 
As you see our tree standing up, I've already took the liberty of taking the leaves off. A lot of people like to cleft graft. There's a problem with cleft grafting, but I'm going to show you how anyway. If you want to find a straight spot, is right below where a thorn was. You can cut your tree off. Now we're going to use one of these pieces that we've already wrapped. It's much easier. We're going to find a flat side. And we're going to start whittling it down. Then go to the other side. Taper it down. We want it to be sharp on the end. Now we're going to find the straight spot on our tree. We're going to put our knife in and pull it towards us till it opens up, splits. Now we're going to push this in. If you notice, my piece of scion is almost identically the same width as my rootstock. It does not have to be that way. As long as your cambium matches on one side, that is all that's important. Now I'll take a piece of grafting tape uh, you can use um, most anything that you can pull snug. Um, we do use the, the grafting tape here. Wrap it about three times. Pull a simple knot in it. Be sure to turn your phone off when you're doing videos. And then just for a little added protection, I put a piece of parafilm over that, which is not necessary. Okay, now we're going to move on to the way we recommend doing grafts here at the nursery. You see, I've got all this rootstock. This is 942 rootstock. Um, this is the size we prefer. We pull our tree over, pinch it just a little bit. Uh, pull the, the top under the bottom of the pot and push it in. Now, what that does is that changes the chemistry of the tree. It's making these buds up top be your dominant buds it's going to want to grow out the best so they're going to want to grow out faster so what we're going to do is we're going to take our scion we're going to cut it almost through on one side going to cut it down to a point on the other side one side is going to be slightly longer than the other you see this side is slightly longer than that side the slightly longer side is going to go up against the trunk so I'm going to come in right here and I'm going to cut down barely in to the wood through the bark. Then I'm going to insert it with the long side up against the trunk of the tree. And that's about a half inch incision. And if you notice that looks as if it was almost grew there. So one wrap with parafilm. And then a short piece of grafting tape. We have tried many, many methods here, and we have found that this is the most reliable method we have tried. It does use a couple more buds um, than, than budding, chip budding or tea budding, but we get much more success because these two buds right here will grow out through the parafilm. Now, if you look over here to my right or behind me, You'll see two tables that we have just done. You'll see one here is already pushing a bud. You can see the table to my left over there has pushed quite a few more buds. This one has been done about four days. So when you can have that results in four days, you're doing pretty good. Thanks for visiting Madison Citrus Nursery.